Well, here, move Nick's over here. trying to there. hold back the tears. Who's that person over here yeah. behind Aww. me? About that? It's a sad day. <laughs> 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 Goodbye to Nick. Yeah, so this morning, a hard day for all of us here at 12 News Daybreak because today is the last morning for us to be get together as a Daybreak team. You've come to know us over the past couple of years together, and sadly, Nick... You the know, big lever I know, I is know. moving on, getting out of the news industry. And it's been a super fun couple of years here, but Nick has actually been in the news business for the past 20 years. And this morning we've compiled a few special moments to bid him a fond farewell. It's been said the only way to do great work is to love what you do. Perhaps that's why this guy was so good at his job. Starting in the business when he was just 22 years old, Nick Canizales quickly moved up the ranks. He started out as a production assistant here at 12 News, actually running the studio cameras and giving me cues on set 20 years ago. He then became a news photographer, shooting news stories around Southeast Texas. But with his passion for sports and engaging personality, he then earned himself a seat in front of the camera, covering sports for Fox 4 in Beaumont. After 10 years in Beaumont, Nick moved to Waco as sports director at KCEN. That position had him traveling across the country, covering great athletes like WNBA star Brittany Griner as her Baylor team won the national championship and was honored at the White House in 2019. Nick even got to cover his favorite NFL team, the Dallas Cowboys. But after eight years away from home, Nick decided to return to Southeast Texas this time in a new role as co-host of 12 News Daybreak. It was a bit of a change of pace from sports, but Nick settled right in, quickly gaining a following covering morning news and winning viewers' hearts. It was evident, as they named him the best of the best as a TV news anchor by readers of the Beaumont Enterprise. Maybe that's in part because he feels like family. And for many, he really is. He was born and raised here and went on to graduate from PNG High School. We like to joke each morning that it seemed at least one of our birthday shout outs was to his cousin, aunt, uncle, or brother. Speaking of his brother, Mike was also a sports anchor for 12 News and the two brothers got to work together for a short time on air. While Nick was great at delivering the news, he was also great at making us all feel like we were his close friend. His sense of humor, always keeping us laughing. We will truly miss it all from his dance moves to his off key singing. Nick brought the fun to our mornings, and the food too. We'll not soon forget his morning pancake breakfast breaks or his breakfast taco connections that paid off for all of us on several occasions. While Nick told me he'll miss his 12 News family and covering the stories you care about, he won't miss that 2 a.m. alarm clock. Can't blame you there. And he'll definitely enjoy spending more time with his awesome teenage son, Cade. So while we'll all hate to see you go, Nick Canizales, we wish you the very best in your new endeavor. And thank you for a job well done for the past 20 years. Well, geez, DK, I appreciate Ooh. that. Man, appreciate that, seriously. You know how much I love you guys. Don't make me cry. I know, I know. Jeff, my man, I appreciate it. Uh, <laughs> the good news is you're not leaving town. No, I'm not leaving you're town. You're just leaving yeah, TV I'm just news. Leaving TV. I'm going to be at uh, Monroe's uh, Safety Apparel doing... Um, public relations and outside sales and all that good stuff. So, I mean, it's a job offer that I, I couldn't refuse. And I mean, I don't have to wake up super early in the morning. Well, yes, you do, because we're uh, expecting yeah. kalachi some yeah. morning, breakfast tacos, mm -hmm. uh, lots of different we're things. Still yeah, we are. Yeah, so, we're still, I, yeah. I, I, it's crazy. <laughs> Listen, I, I hope I can get through this. So 20 years is something that uh, it's a long time to, for something that you love to do, you know, and, and being in the TV industry, I mean, look, it's, it's never been a job. It's never been a job because I've, it's been so much fun. Uh, I didn't get to this point in my career without a lot of help along the way. So here I go. Uh, Don Williams hired me in uh, 12 News in November 2002 to run studio cameras for Good Morning Southeast Texas. And you know, we had Jamie Serretta, we had John Della Torre, Shelly Zamarodi. I worked the evening shift with Tracy, Sean Murdoch, who anchored the uh, 6 and 10 o'clock mm -hmm. show. Then Paul Bergen got my, you know, uh, my dream job to be a sports anchor at Channel 4 in 2006, and of course the rest is history. And I have a you know, list of people in my sports department. Lenny Ambrose, I want to thank James Ware, Pierre Newsham, Jessica Mori, Curtis Quill, and Nikki Latarulo. I mean, those six people helped me uh, have an incredible 15 and a half year career in sports. Uh, my Daybreak crew, Tracy, Jeff, Kara, Derry, Corey who's sitting right here, Claydra, <laughs> Mary, Denise, Reese, and Greg. I love you guys, man. Uh, my bosses, John, Jenny, and Lauren, thank you. My entire station. I appreciate you. Uh, it doesn't happen without my support of my family and friends. You know, my kids, Kate, Madeline, 
I mean, those two, they mean everything to me. Um, I know I missed a lot of, of functions for school and games, but I mean, I, I'm proud of who you guys have become today. A huge thank you to my parents. Uh, they've been watching everything since I've been in the business on air and off the air. And I mean, they used to shuttle my son from Waco back to forth. Um, Mike and Edwina, I love you guys, your support, my entire family, uh, Tina for being one of my biggest cheerleaders. And then Daisy, I mean, your love and support over the past several months means the world to me. It means more than you'll ever know. And words can't describe how much that means to me, especially uh, during this whole transition period. So, I mean, you mean the world to me. I appreciate it. And thank you to every viewer. I love you guys. I love you guys. Seriously. Gonna miss you. All right, Jeff, man. Love you, buddy. Good luck. We'll see y'all. <laughs>